my name is Jacqueline Caverly. I'm in fifth year of volleyball and about year two and a half or three of uh, education. I play libero on the team. Um, I'm also a co-captain. I'm in the business program and I'm doing an advanced diploma in accounting and hoping to go into CPA. In terms of actual scheduled practice time, we do two hours a day, Monday through Thursday. A game is probably about an hour to two hours long, plus warm up, so that would be an hour and a half, and that's two days a week we have matches, so three hours plus four times two. <laughs> 11 hours? It seems like more, but then you also add on the time that you spend prepping for practice, so when someone asks me, I usually say I spend about four hours a day on volleyball, so that's a really significant part of your life, and uh, when it ends, uh, I always think, what do people do now? What do people do in their life when they don't have four hours of volleyball a day? I just have my three bronze medals from playing at CAP first year at Provincials in our bronze medal match. But I ended up being on the court when we won. It really makes you feel good when you feel like you're contributing to your team's successes. There's so many important things that you learn from being a part of the team, like perseverance and how to work with people. And it also teaches you to perform under pressure and how to be high achieving when it doesn't seem like things are going your way. There's just so many life lessons that I've learned from volleyball, so many growth opportunities that I've had through volleyball, and I just think, where do people learn these <laughs> if they don't play sports? How do people who don't play sports learn these things about life? My mom and dad both played, and that's how they met, and they got us to play in elementary school. And I always played in middle school and high school, and I always played club. And I played beach in the summer and did camps and everything. And this is my Scholar Athlete of the Year award. It's something I'm really proud of being strong academically as well as on the volleyball court. I'm not really interested in playing more competitive volleyball after cap. Some people decide to go play pro, but that's not really what interests me. It's a really big commitment. You have to basically change your whole life in order to um, go be a part of that. And it, I'm really interested in starting out my career in accounting. There's a lot of things that I have to give up when I play volleyball. Like I'd really like to be a part of the accounting association. I'd really like to participate in other more academic things. It's just basically, any sort of fun thing that people do other than volleyball <laughs> are things that I can explore once I'm done. I guess there's something about sports. It's like a feeling that you can't really get from anything else. And I really like how it's a team sport and it teaches you so much about life and so much about people and you just learn a lot and you get to meet so many different people and build friendships in, I think, a pretty deep, connected way. It's such a stress reliever, uh, a really good escape. Uh, sometimes you have a volleyball weekend where you go and play a couple matches or you play in a tournament and then you just escape to volleyball land, which isn't the real world. It's just where all you do is think about volleyball. The only time you eat is when you're hungry or you need snacks prior to game. and. Um, it's a different way of thinking and an escape from the regular world sometimes into volleyball land, which is a lot more fun. 